everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm going to be sealing this countertop area. If you recall from yesterday, I was uh, cutting up this OSB board, getting it fit to you know what I needed for here. Uh, this morning I did something that was kind of frustrating. I've got this old sink that I picked up on the side of the road, somebody was getting rid of it. I, the original plan was that I was going to use it for this house. I was going to just do plywood for the countertops and then put tile on top of the plywood. That was my original plan. I was going to use this sink, but with the offer uh, from my parents to inherit their old granite and their sink, I, uh, I've opted to do that, uh, but you know, this sink you know, can be used as my temporary sink while I wait for all that stuff to show up, uh, you know, just to get me through building inspection. It was a little frustrating this morning, though, because this sink is larger than the one that they've got. Right behind you uh, is the uh, the area that I cut open for it, and uh, these are the uh, this is kind of the drawings based on the the stuff that we're going to be putting in here ultimately. And I, I had to cut away a little bit of the structure, which was frustrating. Uh, you know, some some of the structural elements here in order to fit in this sink because this one's a little bit bigger. Um, it was frustrating just because you know this whole thing is just kind of a show for the building inspector. I, I mean, the building inspector is a cool guy, but he's got to follow the rules. Um, and so it's, it's all sort of theater and everything that I'm doing today is all going to get torn out and it just it kind of bugged me that I had a cutaway physical structure uh, that could hold up the countertop better later uh, in order to pass inspection now so you're making the house weaker in order to show that your house is strong um, again it's overbuilt so it's gonna be fine but that kind of that kind of irked me this morning but uh, the next step here is to make it non porous and I'm gonna be using some of this old stuff I just collected it from people these are things that I would never really use myself. It's stain and polyurethane in the same container. I, I never like doing it that way. I always like doing the stain first, and then if I want to seal it or polyurethane or whatever, I do that afterwards. I feel like you get a much more beautiful finish when you do the stain first. You can kind of wipe it down and everything. This is kind of like a crappy, like sped up version. Again, I inherited these from people, and I don't think this one's liquid anymore. But um, I'm going to be using those. To, uh, to seal it up. It just seemed like a really great use of the, uh, of the materials at hand. I'm gonna just pop in here. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be moving this because I gotta get access to the OSB that I laid this on top of and uh, I'm gonna be moving it over there. If you guys recall when I brought that to the site initially, it's pretty comical watching me move it. So, uh, you can stick around for that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. This thing has just seemed like it's solid as a rock on the inside. I need a second screwdriver to you know, maybe just tear it up. Okay, destroy the lid and getting in there. Ooh, wow, it's like, yeah, it's kind of funny. It looks like, like one of those things where there's like fake food and there's like fake wine in the glass and you pick it up, it's all solid. <laughs> That's what that looks like on the inside. Okay, so I'm not gonna be using that one. So I, I won't be getting my classic oak satin. This one's liquid though. I'm just going to pop this one open. I'll probably give it another little stir once I get it open, but it's good to shake them up beforehand, too. Let's see, is this one going to be liquid? These are all very old, and it's a great use for them, because I'm not going to use them for anything else. Let's see. You know what? It's going to take forever to just get these open, because they're all dried. I'm going to jump right to the uh, entertaining conclusion, moving this. This is awkward with two people, uh, and I'm going to do it with one. I have moved it with one person before. Uh... Oh my god, it's really heavy. I've got some blocks prepared over there. I'm just going to move it over there. Get it out of the way. All right, here we go. Okay, i can just get an arm kind of under it. Okay, there we go. All right, it's super heavy. Was that, was that lifting with my legs? Or lowering with my legs? That was the intent. Okay, spin it around. Oh my god, it's heavy. Alright, there we go. And as long as no one knocks that over and kills themselves, we should be fine. So, I'm going to open up these guys, get this all sealed. <coughs> and then, it's dusty from cutting that. And then, um, it's more electrical work for today. Uh, things are coming together, but we are also, the morning's getting cool. It's, we're getting close to fall. And... Fall means winter. That's it. Thanks for watching.